Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Molly. I'm the founder, owner, operator, everything for Lacquer 22, a small nail polish company. And today we have the spookiest launch of the year. Um, we are going to be talking about the Halloween advent calendar. <laughs> All right, so if you know me at all, if you've been following my page for a while, like most of you here on YouTube have, you know I'm a big Halloweeny. okay? I love Halloween. Um, I think it's just one of the most fun holidays ever, and I always try to do something special uh, from Lacquer 22 when we do Halloween launches, um, or I always try to do a special Halloween launch, I should say. So this year is the first time we're doing a Halloween advent calendar. I am so excited. I think this has a really, really good mix, not only of colors, but of finishes as well. But there's 13 shades, so let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about the toppers first, uh, more specifically, I guess, just the glitters. Um, so first up, this is gonna be Spooky Season Volume 2. Um, I'm wearing this on my thumb right here. Um, we came out with Spooky Season last year. It was just an orange and black glitter mix, and I really love that one. I thought that one was super fun, so I thought I would do another version of it, but keep the Spooky Season theme, uh, keep the name a little bit. And this one is just black, white, and orange shreds of glitter. Um, this one looks really, really cool on. It's just a fun mix. And I think you really can't go wrong, especially if you're looking for that Halloween season, um, Halloween spirit. It's this in a bottle. This one in the original, obviously. All right, next we have Gone Batty. This one is super, super fun. So this has um, holographic black glitters and holographic silver glitters and bats. Uh, so there's literally bat shaped glitters in here. You do have to do a little bit more of glitter placement with those just because they're bigger than typical glitters. I don't have an issue with that. I suppose or I imagine that if you're buying the Halloween advent calendar, it's going to be worth it to you to have to do some of that placement. I really love this one. This is just glitz and glamour with bats thrown in and I think it's really pretty and I love the holographic of course, um, the way it sparkles in the light. Uh, it's just so fun. I know you can't really see the bats from here, but hopefully in the swatch they come out to you and they're clear. All right, so last for the fully glitter toppers. This is called Monsters. This reminds me of, of a very specific movie. Um, this has black, white, green, teal, purple, and peach glitters all mixed in. Oh, gray. There's a couple of gray ones too. Um, this is just a fun color combination um it turns out that this year the theme for retail stores is like neons almost uh, so it just kind of works out this way i had this planned a long time ago um i just really love the colors it has more of that cutesy halloween vibe instead of the traditional or the spooky um it's just a little bit more fun kind of kid friendly almost i'm wearing it right here I doubt it's gonna be able to come through. Um, this one is a little bit more sparse though, so if you want more of that glitter punch, you're gonna have to do a couple more coats than some of the other ones. Um, but I think it's worth it for the, the little color punches that are, that's in this one. It's so fun. All right, so that's the last one for the glitter toppers. Now we have a glitter Corelli situation. So if you remember Hope It Never Ends and um, Sandcastle, this is kind of the same situation, um, but it's orange holographic glitter this time. So it's a mix of different sizes of orange holographic glitter in an orange jelly base. This one is just so pretty and it's so fall. Like it's so, it just, you see it and you're like, mm, yeah, Halloween right there. Bing, bang, boom, done. Um, I really, really love this one. I think it's just so bright and fun. I know not all of us love oranges. That's okay. Um, I highly suggest this one. I hope you really like it if you end up getting the advent calendar. Um, this one, if you don't really want to see your nail line um, because it's more of a jelly base underneath, I do recommend getting Come Undone and using at least one coat of that just to kind of camouflage a little bit because sometimes that orange tinted nail line can just look a little off. Um, so if you feel that way, grab a bottle of Come Undone. It's been very helpful for almost any glitter you want to put over it. It uh, just kind of camouflages the nail line, like I said. So it just kind of takes that worry away from you. All right, this next one is a full jelly. This is a 
gray slash black jelly. Um, this is, it comes off as a gray, more like a slate gray, charcoal gray, but obviously if you build it up a lot, it'll be more black. Um, I really love this. This was actually one of the first Halloween polish ideas that I had for the year, and I am so happy with it. Um, we'll talk in a second about one that you could do a really fun jelly sandwich with, um, especially with this color, and Mars as well. It would work with Mars too. Um, I just really like this. I think it's different, and I think it's interesting, and I just, I don't feel like it's very common either, so I'm really happy for this. Oh, this is called Fog. Oh my god, I haven't been saying the names. Um, this orange one is called Pumpkin Lovers Club. Okay, and now we're back. Um, this is called Fog. Um, so my idea with this one was more of a, like, cemetery graveyard, you know, full moon. It's all uh, foggy outside. There's lots of cloud coverage. Um, just kind of like that eerie situation. Um, I think it turned out really well, and I really hope you guys enjoy this one as much as I do. All right, next up we have Serpentine. This is a magnetic. Uh, this is a, like, kind of olivey green, uh, dingy green to a green gold magnetic pool. It's so pretty. If you like magnetics, we have this one and Big Apple as well. Um, this one is more obviously spooky. Um, and I thought the serpentine name kind of, kind of gives it more of a mystery. Um, <laughs> I just really like this one. I think it's really fun. Um, and it's a little different too, because this is only our second ever uh, magnetic polish. So I really hope you like this one too. Um, magnetics are always really fun. Even if you don't wear it as a magnetic, that gold and green magnetic pool is still a really pretty shimmer. So, you know, there's options. All right, I guess I'm just doing all of the different like one-off colors. Um, so this is called Frog Legs. This is a green holographic. Um, this is, you might be thinking like, oh my God, we just did Central Park. No, this is a yellow green holographic. Central Park is a blue green. Grab it. So I'm not sure how well that comes up. I promise you they're different. Um, they're different. The Frog Legs one is so, so fun. And I feel like this is, it's just, it's that toadstool idea. It's the, I don't even know how to describe it. I just think it makes sense. Um, having the witch's toad and all of that mess. Um, I really love this. Who doesn't love a good holographic, right? Um, you just really can't beat this, I don't think. Okay, so another one-off. This is a thermal. This is called Bite Me, obviously vampire themed. Um, so it's this really deep berry color when it's cold, but when it's on you, it's more of a, I don't know what I'm saying. It's more of like a pinky red, um, like kind of, I guess it's still berry, but <laughs> it's more of a um, like fresh berry, like berry lip kind of situation, popsicle lip kind of situation. And this is more of a plum deep berry. Um, and then there's a white shimmer in there as well. I think this one's really pretty. And of course with Halloween and fall, the, the weather is starting to change so we can actually wear thermals with them being effective on like summertime. Um, so this one is just, really pretty and I love the shimmer in here too it just kind of adds another element that I just feel like it makes sense I don't know I, th I think it was a good choice if I say so myself um I just think it's really pretty and of course the fall time you can't beat a good berry right all right next up we have pumpkin carving this is an orange uh crelly with black shards of glitter um I really love this one it's just classic Halloween it, it just it's classic Halloween um, if you're wearing this there's no doubt that somebody is gonna think oh you have Halloween nail polish on um, it just makes sense I love this one it I don't feel like there's too much to say about it um, because I just think it makes so much sense especially for the roundup for Halloween uh, for the advent calendar it's just so classic it just checks out it's good and it's really cute Okay, so next up we have a topper and then two like full coverage polishes. Um, but I kind of want to talk to you about a new Lacquer 22 finish. Oh. Um, so I am calling this the Twinkling finish. This is essentially, it reminds me of a Starry Night. Um, I just, I really, really love the shimmer in these. 
This is kind of an extension of Crystal Ball, if you remember that from a couple Halloweens ago. That one is so, so pretty. Essentially, it's a pink to gold shifting, um, like super micro glitter. It's beautiful over so many polishes. It, since we're talking about it, I really recommend it over King Cobra and um, Undead or Wisteria, depending on the type of purple you're, you're looking for. Um, those are my favorite combos, but it looks great over Delphinium. It looks great over Hammerhead. It looks great over a million other polishes. Willow is really pretty with it. Um, so I definitely recommend looking into that one, but now we have a new addition. So this is called Bewitching, and this is a gold to green version of that. And it has just the prettiest shimmer, especially when you're in the sunlight. Um, I really, really love these finishes and I hope you do too. Um, I'm so proud of these. They're so pretty beautiful. Um, this again, really goes over any color. In the swatch, I have it over Armadillo, um, but especially this being like the gold color as the base, you can put it over anything. So having this over Enchanted is beautiful. Having this over um, Saguaro is really pretty. Poker Face too. Um, you just really can't go wrong with these. I feel like they're such amazing toppers and I really hope you try one out. If you don't get the Advent, check out Crystal Ball. It's so beautiful. Uh, both of them are. I just really, really love these and I hope you do too. All right, next with the Twinkling Finish, because I'm not done yet. So this one is called Fortune Teller, and this is a mid-tone to deep gray, but it has a pink to gold, essentially crystal ball, that kind of finish, that kind of glitter, shimmer mixed in with it. So I'm wearing it on this hand. I don't think you'll be able to tell. Ooh, let's do that. No, um, you'll see in the swatch. I love this so much. The shimmer just really pokes through and I feel like it's such a great, um, I don't wanna say alternative to hollow cause they're not the same, but I feel like if you like hollow, you'll like this because of just how much it stands out. Um, and there's not a rainbow in this one like with holographic, so don't get me wrong there. I just think it's so, so beautiful. Um, I don't know, maybe it's my own doing, I don't know what it is, but I just love this color and the next one I'm about to show you. I haven't been able to stop wearing them. They are beautiful to me. Um, just the way that they shine and shimmer is amazing. And I think especially having like the color contrast with the gray and the pink is just beautiful. I keep saying beautiful, I'm sorry. I just, I feel strongly. <laughs> All right, so the second one, this is called Ghost Town. This is actually a very muted purple base and it has the gold to green um, glitter in there so essentially the bewitching is just mixed with the dusty purple when I tell you I've been wanting a dusty purple in my lineup for so long um, and I figured the ghost town name kind of fits with the cowboy classics which is when I originally wanted to put a dusty purple cream in our lineup needless to say I'm so excited to have this um, this is amazing beautiful fantastic uh, phenomenal even I love this shade so much. I wore this, I want to say like two or three times within a month, um, which is a lot for me. <laughs> um, it's just so pretty. The tone of the purple is beautiful. Um, if you haven't noticed yet, or if you don't know, I just love a good muted color. Um, we have the Texas Sage that I love, Undead that I love. I made um, Lazy Day a little bit ago that it's just like a, a dusty sky blue. Uh, we have a like muted pastels collection on the website because I don't like regular pastels, but I do like the muted ones. Um, but this just fits into that muted theme that I love so much and I just think it's beautiful um, and then of course the purple and green combo you can't go wrong with that for Halloween um, I'm gonna stop talking about this because I feel like I've been talking about the twinkling ones for too long just know I love them and I really think that you'll love them or at the very least I hope you will love them okay so we've made it through 12 this is lucky number 13 this is technically still a topper, but it's a little different than a glitter topper. This is our very first flaky, and I love this. This is, it's on these three fingers. I have undead, and then undead is topped with its freaking bats, okay? 
It's freaking bats. This is a flaky topper. It's beautiful. Um, it to me looks like just a flock of bats and I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. It's so different and unique I think and it will go over anything because it's black. Black goes with everything. Um, so if you wanted to do it with any color you could. Obviously I have in the swatch it's over enchanted. I also have it over undead. Um, you could keep with the Halloween theme, put it over Buppy if you wanted, or Wallflower or something. Um, but I mean, putting this over uh, Saltwater Taffy, putting it over um, Jackpot even. There's so many different combinations that you could do with this one, especially with it just being black. It just works with everything. Love. Love. All right, so we've now been over all 13 polishes. I really hope you enjoyed them. Please let me know your thoughts. What do you like? What do you not like? What do you wish I did instead? Um, what are you stoked about? Um, I really, really am so proud of these and I'm so excited to have a Halloween advent calendar. I think that's so fun. Um, don't forget to check out our other Halloween polishes if you end up going on the site. We have uh, Guts, that's a crowd favorite. Spirit is a beautiful black hollow. Uh, Cauldron and Beware are black multi-chromes. We have Poisonberry and Haunted that were specifically Halloween. Um, oh, and Phantom that were specifically Halloween hollows. Crystal Ball that I mentioned. We have a bunch. Just go check them out. There's a whole Halloween tab on the website. Um, I'm so proud of these. I really, really hope you guys like them. These are live now for um, half price usually because it's an advent calendar so when we have 13 polishes and we have six dollars each it's gonna be seventy eight dollars again for 13 polishes so not too shabby um, just check them out check out the website um, that's kind of all I've got so far. Uh, these are launching or these are already launched they're live now but there will be a couple that are handpicked to be singles here in a couple of weeks. Um, so go ahead and let me know which ones you want to be singles. What do you want available outside of the calendar? Um, I've already picked them, but I wanna know what your thoughts are. Um, if you want some more information, more details, please check the description box because this is a limited edition item. Um, so please make sure you're caught up on all the, all the info, the 411. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching and happy Halloween. Bye.